Michael Ricardo. Don't smile now. Was in no mood to smile when thieves kept stealing his Donald Trump lawn signs. They're trying to shut me up. But rather than shut up, Michael put up a $5,000 reward for information leading to the arrest and conviction of the thieves. I'm choosing Trump and stay the hell off my lawn and let me express my opinion. This Florida real estate investor also didn't appreciate the F. Trump graffiti on the nearest mailbox outside his Queens, New York home. He put up about a hundred reward signs featuring a suspect's photo captured by surveillance cameras. The presidential campaign has kept cameras busy recording people stealing Trump signs, usually jumping out of a car, grabbing signs and jumping back in. Though Jeff Weiss of West Hartford, Connecticut, caught two teens red-handed in his driveway. Stealing my Donald Trump signs. Yeah, we are. I know. Yeah. Why would you do such a thing? Because we just don't agree with your political views. Is that the right thing to do? Um, well, we're teenagers, so I think we have a little bit of leeway in this. Do you? Yeah. I chose not to press charges. But others chose a reward. Linda Torelli says she couldn't get over it when someone defaced three of her Trump signs in New City, New York. She replaced them, then put up a $1,000 reward. My message to the vandals is this, not my neighborhood, guys, and you're not going to intimidate me or bully me, okay, I'm still going to vote for my candidate, and I wish you would respect that. And every time they, they take a sign, the next one gets bigger and better. I guess pretty soon the whole house will be a Trump sign. Try stealing that, you pranksters. Or are they liberals? Could be a liberal prankster. I don't know who it is. Genie Mo, CNN. Now smile. New York. Okay.